The Bartolomés have lived among the dead for over 35 years. Mired in poverty, they survive on the little they make, caring for the graves of the rich. But two years ago, a difficult life got even harder when Constantino had a stroke. They just don't have enough money to care for him properly. It's been so long. We haven't been able to get him medication since then. So we just try to make him comfortable the best way we can. Millions of Filipinos live on less than two U.S. dollars a day. And the cost of health care, both private and public, is beyond their means. There is a national insurance plan, but its benefits are limited, and not everyone is covered. Those that are still have to pay some 60% of costs out of their own pockets, among the highest in the world. This is just one of several government-run hospitals in Manila. Now the patients here are fortunate enough to have access to medical care. But 50% of the Philippines' population go to their grave without ever seeing a doctor. In this remote community, medical needs are being attended to by communist rebels. Just one of many isolated areas still not reached by the government. Admittedly, there's a lack of resources, both human and financial. The government spends less than 2% of its annual budget on health. We are moving towards increasing benefits, but that also means increasing premiums for these individuals. So we need to balance it out to how much insurance that people feel they can afford versus how much benefits we should be providing for them. The public sector might be struggling, but there's been a boost to the private sector, with brand new hospitals opening up and the government pushing medical tourism, encouraging foreigners to come to the Philippines for affordable, good quality treatment, even as locals aren't able to get the most basic care. And many Filipino medical professionals would rather seek employment abroad. Economics still dictate priorities, and they're paid better there. At the end of the day, you need a healthy population to prosper. So investing in people, investing in health is important. Not only from a human rights perspective that people need to, to have a fair health, but also in order to, have, have to prosper, you need a healthy population. The government says it is working towards a more comprehensive health plan for all Filipinos regardless of income. But that's still likely a long way away. So for now, for many like the Bartolomés, there is little hope of relying on anyone other than each other to care for them. Margot Tigas, Al Jazeera, Manila.